What's up guys, my name is Mehdi and welcome back to our channel. This video is about rendering an interior design only by Photoshop. We really try hard to create amazing videos for you. So please like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you and let's get started. Create a new file and import the images. We have three images of this place. Put them next to each other and fix them as I'm doing here. Decrease the opacity of second image so you can match it to the first image better. Change the scale of image by grabbing the corners. Also you can change the perspective by holding control button. Hit enter button and start to erase the image by using a hard round brush. Import the third image and do the same job for this one too. Here we need to use warp tool to fix the image better. Do the erasing job for this one again. Here I prefer to increase the size of image. Paint the background with black color by using a hard round brush. Well, now crop the image to delete the empty spaces and decrease a little bit brightness by using level adjustment. Now select an oil brush and start to paint the floor. Just pick colors from main image by holding alt button and painting again. Do this job over and over to cover all the floor. This is not gonna be our floor, so don't be freaky on that. Here we just need the floor to have a better imagination of this space. In the next level, we are gonna sketch our main idea about the designing of this interior scene. Okay, now use a hard round brush and bright color and start sketching. First of all, I'm gonna define surfaces such as walls, floor, and roof. Then divide them in the right proportions. In the next step, start to design your main idea. A sketching in this step helps you to perceive the place better. We are not gonna draw details and we are just furnishing the place. In this project, our house is so small and we have to get an optimized design for this interior scene and we have to place the kitchen beside living room. So I sketch cabinets and the refrigerator beside the right wall. And also I sketch sofa, dining table and other stuffs as you see. Then decrease the sketch opacity and define the wall using lasso tool. After that pick my custom brush, turn on pressure sensitivity and decrease the opacity. Then start to do a gradation job on the wall. Lighter near the light source which comes from the outside and vice versa. Also we have to apply darker values to the edges. We call it Omni Shadow. It makes the surfaces define better. Then draw the other wall like this one. Okay, now import a wood floor texture to the scene and match it to the floor. You have to use several images to create a better perspective in your scene. Then merge layers into one layer and fix it by warp tool. After that create a level adjustment layer and clip it to the wood floor texture. 
It means the level adjustment just effect on the floor. Then grab the slider and get the floor darker. Then hit Ctrl plus I button to inverse this process. After that pick a soft round brush and start to draw shadows on the floor. Okay, now do the same job on this layer, but this time brighten up the floor and draw the highlights. After floor, I'm gonna bring a triple sofa to the scene. Fix the scale and perspective, then draw the shadows and highlight same as before. You have to draw sides of sofa by your own because the main sofa doesn't match to the perspective of scene. Then import a single sofa to complete this set. Do all of previous jobs on this one. Here use a custom brush and in a different layer draw the drop shadows and reflection of the sofa on the floor. Merge all of sofa layers and then duplicate that by hitting Ctrl J and bring it to other side. Okay now import the bookshelf to the scene. Just decrease the level adjustment and it doesn't need so much change because the lights and shadows of that match to the scene. Just some highlights on TV and plants. After that again, use the same brush to draw drop shadows and reflection on a different layer. <laughs> 